In this video, I would like to respond to a question from user at 339Lenny. Why is Creo so hated by many engineers? I learned with Creo and never had many struggles. This is a great question. I've come across this a lot and I've never understood how irrational people can be when it comes to CAD. To be clear, disliking something is perfectly rational. But the level to which some people hate, and I mean hate, is irrational. As I've said before, it's time for the CAD Wars to end. While I believe it's in a company's best interest to consolidate on a single CAD platform, it is in an engineer or designer's best interest to know more than one CAD program. Hating on another CAD platform because you have a preference is dumb. Just because I like chocolate ice cream, I don't have to hate vanilla. Back to the original question. Why do people hate Creo so much? People love their first home. When it comes to CAD, that's most likely going to be something like SOLIDWORKS, Fusion 360, or 2D AutoCAD. SOLIDWORKS probably has the best university program. Many colleges provide SOLIDWORKS to their students for free. My alma mater provides SOLIDWORKS to students for free. Even if their college doesn't provide it for free, college students can get the cloud or desktop version, usually for $50 a year. On top of that, they can get the associate or professional certification for free. So if you're a college student looking at getting a job in a few years, I can certainly see how SOLIDWORKS is building loyalty. Let's say someone starts in SOLIDWORKS or Fusion 360, and then they get a job where they have to use Creo. They are going to be out of their comfort zone. That alone will cause anxiety. To make matters worse, fewer companies bother to train their employees in CAD these days. Companies just throw their new hires into the deep end of the pool and expect them to swim. They're setting their employees up for failure, and the new, new hires end up hating Creo. A lot of people have an ingrained belief that for my software to be good, your software needs to suck. I believe that we get that from playing and watching sports. I get it. I'm a sports fan. Anyone who knows me knows that I love my Philadelphia Eagles and my Philadelphia Phillies. Sports are a zero-sum game. There has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. I love my Philadelphia Eagles, so I hate the Dallas Cowboys. This kind of thinking carries over to CAD. If I love SOLIDWORKS, I have to hate Creo. If I love Creo, I have to hate Katia. If I love Katia, I have to hate NX, and so on. Frankly, it's dumb. It's perfectly fine to dislike any CAD program you want to dislike, and to have your preferences, but to hate one CAD platform because you hate another? That's irrational. Speaking of irrational, I worked for a company where the director of engineering once said, I've never seen or used Creo, but from what I've heard, I hate it. He didn't say, from what I've heard, I would hate it, and he subsequently repeated the comment, I hate Creo, in several meetings. That kind of closed-minded comment was a red flag. It didn't bode well for some of his previous and subsequent engineering decisions. And it didn't bode well for the company. If you cross paths with irrational people in the workplace, run away from them. I often hear people ask, what is the best CAD software? Or, they will declare, my preferred CAD platform, 
whether that is SolidWorks, NX, CATIA, Inventor, Creo, or something else, is the best CAD software. Let me say this clearly. There is no best software. It's all trade-offs. And those trade-offs can be in terms of functionality, usability, popularity in industry, price, ease of implementation, PDM and PLM, and other factors. I did a video series on SOLIDWORKS and Creo, and a lot of people missed the point I was making. SOLIDWORKS is easier to learn and use, but that, co that comes at the cost of functionality. Creo has a lot more functionality and handles a lot more edge cases in design and manufacturing. But it means that the interface can be a little more complicated. So what am I saying? If people hate Creo, there's a good chance they started on a different CAD platform. And that's okay. But it's in their best interest to ask, why is my company using Creo? There are multiple good reasons. Like Creo has amazing capabilities for surfacing, top-down design, simulation, additive manufacturing, model-based definition, and more. Creo is a complete design analysis and manufacturing solution that can handle large assemblies and complex products. PTC has a world-class product lifecycle management platform in Windchill. Instead of spending your, t your energy and your time hating Creo, you could make the most of the opportunity. Learn everything you can. Understand why so many companies and so many top tier companies have chosen Creo as their CAD solution. Make yourself more marketable for the sake of your career and your family. And if you really hate Creo that much, no one is forcing you to stay at your job. If Creo makes your life that miserable, Put on your big boy or big girl pants and find a different job. Put up or shut up. Or maybe just accept that you're a person who enjoys complaining. That's my two cents. What do you think? Leave a comment. And if you have a question that you'd like me to answer, write it in the comments section as well. Thank you very much.